Well, Zen, describe us the video that you're going to give us a little preview first before we kind of get started and why you chose the video. For those of you who haven't actually seen the video, it's a highlight between the Suns and the Wiggins, I'm sorry, and the Wolves featuring Andrew Wiggins on his buzzer beater over PJ Tucker, where he rolled on the floor and still banked it home. It's an amazing highlight. Definitely a top 10, probably one of the top plays of the year. All right, Definitely that's check awesome. It out. Let's go check this out. Let's check out the highlight. Boom. Oh, not even a bank. I've, I've, I've been watching this too. That's on PJ Tucker too. Yeah, and he's a good defender. And he's, he's a really a good, good defender. defender. Yeah. Right over him. A little, little bit of hook. No, a little. Sure. I was actually watching this game, but I passed out a little during that, this part. It must be a late night. Yeah, <laughs> late yeah night it was game. a late night. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, Who is that? Is this, is this Andrew Wiggins' first game winner? Yeah. It's been, he's been really good though. He's been at, at making really good shots. Good. Like yeah. the last few games I watched him, he was really he, clutch. He is pretty capable of like what we see now. He's capable of doing that. Like, he's Andrew efficient Wiggins? too. He's very yeah. efficient. Was, this is a third, fourth year in the league now. Yeah. And, and he's yeah. doing pretty well, especially on his team. The Timberwolves, I mean, the Timberwolves could have a better season than what they're having right now, but they're still doing decent. It's They're still improving. It's hard to argue. I, I think they were getting, uh, I'm not sure, you correct me if I'm wrong, I think they were getting used to the system that Tom, Tom Timberwolves was yeah. putting it, in. It yeah. took a while for them because they were really young, right? Yeah. You had like three of your top scorers scoring 20 points a game. But they're all uh, under 24, if I'm correct me if I'm yeah. wrong. Ricky so Rubio, really, yeah. Yeah. Ricky, Ru uh, Ricky Rubio's shooting threes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, and you have your veteran really is Ricky Rubio if you really think about it. But then Rubio hasn't really had that much experience. When Todd Thibodeau went to uh, the Chicago Bulls, he really took that team. It took a while for them really to kind of pick up his. Um, his system and his defensive schemes yeah. but once they did like look what happened they had Derrick Rose winning you know MVP mm -hmm. they had um, well, Joe Kim Noah yeah, getting defensive player of the year the irony is the yeah. Wolves aren't actually that great defensively they yeah. just got three amazing offensive players exactly yeah. right yeah. so do you think do you think they're going to stay as a team in the long run you know what I really hope Carl Anthony Towns Wiggins and Levine exactly. grows together and, and learn so how to play with each other amazing together I, I think so yeah. and all you need is like a pass first on a point guard, Rubio's fine. Yeah. You can get a Rajon Rondo in there. And yeah, like people, people have been arguing that. Oh, What's come it? on, man! You're come on, dude. What? Come Who's on, get, calling me? get to my question. Okay, though. Uh, yeah, me? I'll get, get to my question <laughs> though. But oh, I forgot my question. Uh, now. Was, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I got it. The no, question. No, I got it. I got it. I, I had a good one. <laughs> okay, I had a good go one. Ahead, Let go me get at this. I'll remember it. Do you guys feel like? Do you guys feel that? I I know. I noticed when Wiggins started playing, his his game was very different. Like. He was very of a driver. Um, yeah. He didn't have a shot. Like, no, I didn't no, yeah, no drive. Do you feel like he's grown to that kind of, like, you know, a go-to score like they have? Do you guys feel like he should be the go-to score, or do you guys feel like it should be Towns that should be the no, main focus Towns, of the offense? Towns, hands down. Towns? Yeah. No, I don't think Towns yet. I'd say, I'd say uh, last, last shot, Andrew Wiggins. And his, the second option is Carl Anthony Towns. But in terms of the offense in general but the that offense should always oh, revolve offense? around uh, Cat, yeah, though. You yeah. put him at the elbow, yeah. and then you can really run any passer. offense. Yeah. He's a really I, good I, passer. I agree with that. Uh, like a regular offensive run, I'd say yeah. first option is Towns, and then second option is Wiggins. I yeah. agree, yeah. And Agreed. so at least at least they can work in the post, and then, you know, they can kick it out. Anyone, anyone, yeah. like, kick out to Wiggins, kick Levine, out to Levine, yeah. Rubio. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Ruby, okay, if Ruby was had, really I open, watched that game that, that, that is my that when he scored, I think he had six threes that game, and then he just couldn't miss. And I was confused. I'm like, this guy can shoot. Uh, what? What? But now he can shoot. Like he has, he, he, I think he's been working well, hard. Well, he he's working really now, hard, right? Because yeah. no one's really covering him. Because like, people, people don't respect his three no. yeah. yet. But they, we probably will, and it cools out a lot. Yeah, it's true. But then again, he'll just attack you and just pass it out. Yeah. He is that type of point guard. But like, yeah. I was, I was about to ask before we got interrupted. Oh, hey, you came back. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um, like, do you think that uh, Tom Thibodeau should re release the, the, uh, the, you know, the holdings of Chris Dunn and let him start? Uh, every single game instead of Ricky Rubio and have Ricky Rubio come off the bench just so he can let all those young guys just, you know, um, play it out because they do have veteran support like on the bench. I absolutely think so. I think the thing they always knock on tips is he never let the young guys play in Chicago and he always played a bunch of old guys and wore them down. I but mean, his guys he, are still here young. He is the, here he is playing young guys as their main focus of offense, three young guys. 
So but, but I think Rubio it's fair that he has a the, Rubio. Is Rubio's Rubio going to be in the future of the Wolves? That's not, the question, But right? they have to showcase him still, right? They have to showcase They will how much when he comes off the bench. When he, yeah. if you can't have You some, make Rubio the sixth man. But if you want to get as much value of a player so that you can get as much asses back from him on a trade, you want to start him and get him as much minutes, right? The, I think Dunn is a good player, but I feel like if they want to get good, uh, something really good in return for Rubio, Give him the minutes. Give him the play him with the, your best players so that you can see how good he is of a passer, how good of, uh, of a pick and roll player he is, how good of a defender he is, right? But so. on the offside, if you play him against bench guys, he looks even better. It's but I don't think he's that of a good of an offensive player to be the main <laughs> for, be the best player on the second unit team. That's what I'm just saying. But if he's surrounded by Towns, he's surrounded by Wiggins and Levine doing running off through screens, going through pick and roll with Towns. He looks much better because that's his game. That's where his strength is. But what can you get back for Rubio right like now? Like picks, backup, but I, I feel like they're guards. gonna work through the draft. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you get picks, good, because they're not gonna make the playoffs. But they're competing, so which is good. It's good to see them. The competing. Wolves still have their pick this year, if I'm not mistaken. But they want to get more assets. The whole point, right? If and you're it's gonna not, trade someone. Well, it's not just Rick Rubio that they have. They have big men that can they can use as assets as well. Yeah, yeah. they don't have any good big men besides Towns. Borja Jang. Uh, but uh, the more you're gonna get from Borja Jang. Ute? No, that's uh, not, he's uh, on the uh, team. He's not. is one yeah. of the big men, but he's you know he's a shooting big. <laughs> All the big guys I know is <laughs> their cat. bench is I, I only know cat. Their, their bench is not really that good either, right? Like they have some okay guys that can kind of carry them through, but not enough, right? So to put Ruby there, he's just kind of showcasing how bad he is of an offensive player when he's not open to shoot threes. So yeah, yeah, right. So, but it's good to see like. Wiggins going through that and having this kind of growth you've seen him. He's hitting big shots now. They're going through him and he's confident and I think Yeah, because right now too. he's the best Canadian player right now. He, he, is, is. he is. And he's good. Yeah, and it's he's true. Good. He better play for the Canadian basketball team because we could have won that medal mm. last, last few years ago. Let's hope though that he goes to the uh, either the slam dunk contest or just, just, you know, we wanted him to play and well, not participate this, well, when not he was year. in Toronto not too, this right? Year, yeah, he should have yeah. been He will. He he will. I, I feel like he will. I feel he's like a great I, in-game dunker, but I he thinks so. he's a slam dunk yeah. content. Oh, no, again. This? Let's, let's, sign, let's sign it off, Who's bro. Who's calling me? Stop sign it. off. Exactly. I mean, it's transition. So transition, we have, yo. We have all the highlights that happened. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for sharing us. Andrew Wiggins, right? <laughs> <laughs>